Hey, you don't know me, but on YouTube I'm Tifa If you work in insurance, well, maybe I'll meet ya If you wanna rap, you know I rap real bad Wasting time playing games on the iPad I told you before how I'm using my netbook Watching bits, playing games, choosing a new look I'm wondering, will the tabs replace it? Pack the old computer in the basement I figure I'll hear about what I'm doing to hip-hop So in just a moment, I guess that I will stop Send me some comments, shoot me some crap I'll still be talking about this new thing from Apple. Hello and welcome to iPad vs. Netbook Part 2. In the previous episode, okay, just checking to make sure that's working, um, I was demonstrating what I was going to use my netbook for, what I actually what I currently use my netbook for. In this case, I'm currently recording this very episode. This time, now that I've gotten my iPad, Let's just see if it can stand up and do all the things that Netbook can. One of the things I found out this morning was that it can't be taken outside. It's a very warm day outside, and after a couple of minutes in the sun, the iPad completely conks out since it doesn't have a fan. Netbook does. One of the main things I'd like to do with a Netbook is just, uh, is just watch movies. Now, in the first episode, I showed how I could stream movies from my other computers. I've not been able to figure out how to do that with the iPad, but it can certainly download movies and television shows and watch them, so is that something you're into? It does great. You can see it's nice widescreen. Not quite as wide as Doctor Who here, but fairly adequate. All right. This is an app that was launched the day the iPad launched, and allows uh, and there we see. There we go. An episode of Dexter, not Dexter, Dresden. Very magical, all that kind of stuff. This is this is streaming off the wireless network. There is not a hitch to be seen. Looks great, no problems whatsoever. Those people are about to die, both of them. Very, very sad. Um, I love that some of the standard applications, for example, the weather application, has become so much more powerful on the iPad. I bike to work whenever the weather is good, so I like getting a very detailed look at the weather to see if it's going to be decent to bike. Let me look at some webcams in the area. Beautiful day outside. If you bring the iPad outside on a day like this, you'll just fry. You, you can't even do it. That's a little bit disappointing. They have a large number of junk applications. I don't know how a real pianist could actually use this, but it certainly looks cool. I mean, there's nothing cooler looking than the iPad, and that's one of the main issues I found with it having it for about a, half a week now is that the iPad looks incredibly cool and if you want to watch movies on it or, or play games you know you want to get this because absolutely fantastic look how clear these graphics are um, compared to the to the Asus which is a very tiny screen this thing just dwarfs it yeah it's just a whole lot of fun this is uh, the iPad follow-up to Tapalicious's Tap Tap Revolution. And in this particular one there, it uses the extra space to keep your hands moving all around. So I'm not doing very well here because I'm talking at the same time. And this actually is, is just a great feeling application. I mean, 
The little control pads move all the little control pads move all over the game screen. It's just a lot of fun. Okay, one of the uh, applications this is available for the iPhone as well, but really stands out. This is supposedly one of the killer apps for the iPad if you if you um, like comics at all. You can just sort of use this Marvel application which takes you through the comics panel by panel. It'll focus in on things. It's almost a... Oh, can we see that? Oh, I have no screen up here. It's almost a... Uh, what do they call that? Some sort of semi-animated. Very dramatic. Very easy to read. I absolutely love this app. People have complained that this particular Marvel comic app, though, doesn't have any current comics. So that kind of probably make it less useful for real fans who had probably already seen all these comics before. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yes. They have a they have a new game. A new MMO massively multiplayer online role playing game. Let me just uh, log in here. For the iPad. Which is really kinda kinda cute that they're actually this ambitious to do something that isn't based around these days on a social network like uh, Facebook. This is actually a, a real game. You get to choose one of three different characters. And go kill things. Always fun. Join other people already playing. You can join your friends. You can... There we are. Oh, this person is a warrior class. I'm standing next to. And he's saying hi to me. We can actually respond by... Whoops. Using one of those little emotes here. And now I'm going to disappoint him by leaving. I know, he's probably very, very sad now. I think he was crying. So the upshot, what can the iPad do for you that the Asus cannot do? Well, it's much better at games. The little tiny Asus thing here is not that great for games. Um, you can see the physically the iPad just blows out of the water. Look how big that screen is. If the Asus could have that big a screen, it would be a happy computer. However, I can take the Asus outside, and often do in the summer. I watch movies of that kind of stuff outside, or just do some computing. This cannot go outside in sunny days. Um, clearly, for games, you're just going to love the iPad. But for actually you know, connecting with already existing networks for just uh, the sheer freedom. I think you're gonna have to go with the Asus. So, so more or less, I wonder if these things even really do. Comp he has a funny with the trombone. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if these things really will compete with each other at all. I believe both of these games. Excuse me. Both of these computers have their own niche. This niche is, the iPad niche is clearly going to be for entertainment and gaming, while the Asus will probably do better for actually getting real work done and connecting with computers you already have. And, upshot is, I'm loving the iPad, I use it all the time. I'm still loving that my netbook, and I use that all the time as well. Take care.